When you're shooting a wedding and want to capture the cleanest audio possible from say your groom, the officiant, or even the bride, we suggest that you use a wireless or even standalone audio recorder, which will allow you to attach a lavalier or lav mic onto your subject. In contrast to say an on-camera shotgun mic, a lav mic can be placed within inches of your subject's mouth, allowing you to capture clear and consistent audio without forcing you to be close to your subject at all times. Here we have Irene and Aaron's first look. Knowing that couples often speak to each other when they see each other for the first time on their wedding day, we made sure that both Irene and Aaron were both mic'd up with lavalier mics. Hi, honey. Hello. Who's that? Can we actually open the door? Are you gonna knock first? <laughs> But notice, you don't see any of the lav mics in our footage. Along the same lines as casting your own shadow into a scene, or more commonly found in wedding videos, having a photographer show up in your footage. These are distracting elements that pull your viewer out of your story, and it suddenly feels more like a production or staged event. Whoa. Hi! Oh my gosh. I love you. Here we have two different lav mics. This one comes standard with the Sennheiser G3 wireless kit. It's a popular choice among those just starting out with wireless audio recording. In my other hand is the Countryman B6. This is our go-to mic of choice due to its great sounding audio quality and the small form factor, allowing us to hide this nearly anywhere. When miking a groom, an officiant, or just about anyone wearing a dress shirt, one of the best places to hide a mic would be just inside their collar. There's usually a natural gap in the collar, which will allow you to place your mic, isolating it from any noise caused by rubbing of clothing, and it also acts as a natural windscreen. The one thing to keep in mind is, with this method, is if your subject turns away from your lav mic and speaks in the opposite direction, it will cause your audio levels to be very inconsistent. Before we start, there are two things you need to hide a lav mic, a pack of undercovers and clear medical tape. They're perfect for hiding labs underneath clothing or directly on skin. Clear medical tape is a great solution for securing loose wires without leaving residue on clothing or skin. So I'm going to use one side of the undercover to secure our mic and place a felt cover over it. With the other side of the undercover, I'm going to stick it right inside the gap so there's no contact between the mic and the dress shirt. Using the medical tape, I'm going to secure the rest of the wire underneath the collar and run the wire down beneath the shirt and the jacket. From there, I can attach the other end of the lav mic into either a wireless body pack or standalone recorder and either clip it onto their belt or into their back pocket. Another spot where you can usually hide a mic is right underneath a tie. Not only does it benefit from great shielding from wind noise, but it's also centered on the person's body, giving you more consistent audio levels. Like before, you'll want to find a spot where the tie and the dress shirt makes the least amount of contact. This can usually be found just under the knot of the tie. To make sure that the black wire is hidden, I'm going to snake the lav underneath the shirt and pull it out just enough to secure it, making sure that I'm using the correct color of the felt so it matches the shirt. If you're using a standalone recorder that doesn't have a clip, you can just run the black wire through the vest sleeve and drop the audio recorder in the inside pocket of the jacket. For the same reasons why we mic a groom or an officiant, we also want to properly mic up a bride. It may seem like a daunting task at first, since wedding dresses are usually very form-fitting and there's seemingly no way for you to hide a wireless transmitter or audio recorder. So here are a couple things we recommend you always have on hand. First is a light and portable audio recorder. Just make sure it's as light and as small as possible. The second item is a hairband. You will want to attach this band to your recorder by knotting it and then securing it with some gaff tape. The other end of the band will usually fit perfectly over the bride's thigh just above the garter. You'll want to use a white lav mic here so it blends in with the dress as much as possible. Most manufacturers make their lav mics in black, beige, or white. 
so these should be easy to find. And lastly, you'll want to carry a pack of Hush Labs in your audio kit. These are basically black or white foam sleeves made to go over your mic and will help minimize any noise caused by contact with clothing. Just have your bride run the lab up her dress and rest it in her center cleavage area. You can use a little piece of medical tape to secure the mic onto her dress. On the other end, plug your lav mic into your audio recorder and just make sure your hairband has just enough tension so it will support its weight without slipping down her leg. While all this may seem like a lot of work, just consider how much farther you can take your films with properly captured audio. Being able to create films that are deeper and richer, as you become more comfortable and quicker at miking up your couples, they will also become more comfortable being miked as well.